Hello, everybody, and welcome to the ICO channel. Today, I want to show you guys how to configure the um, ICO Duo Plus adapter for the Meister. Um, recently, there was some changes to the Atari core on the Meister, and some people reported the um, paddle button stopped working, according to my prior video that I had shown. So this uh, video is going to show you how to um, configure the the adapter correctly so that it'll work with both joysticks and paddles um, with the most recent cores. Now, um, I recently updated this firmware on the device to version 8.5. When you first turn it on, um, when you first plug in the device, it'll show you the version number in the front. And if you don't have 8.5, this is not going to work for your um, the paddles on your um Meister core until they fix the core i guess but uh if you update the firmware which you can read about on www.ico.com slash um, downloads uh, you'll be able to download the firmware there there's some instructions and you'll need a windows pc to update the firmware but uh this video assumes you're already on firmware 8.5 okay so let's get started um, begin with um, make sure you've got a joystick connected and uh, the device connected to your Meister and then uh, go ahead and turn on your Meister so um, I'm going to go ahead and push reset on the Meister real quick here and then the first time um, the system needs to recognize the the adapter uh, without any cores loaded so I'm going to go ahead and push escape and um, on my keyboard and notice there is a define joystick buttons i'm going to select that and then um, with the device connected you know just go ahead and push to the right and then down you'll notice the joystick id will come up and then um, for the tilt you want to push the user button to skip and then you'll come to this screen and then push right on the adapter left on your joystick down up and then for a button it's going to be your fire button which is button zero and then for b button for me it's uh, this green uh, which is button one um, on some of the older devices uh, the red will be button two um, sorry button one so um, if you know if you push green and it doesn't work You'll probably need to either remap this button to be button one um, and you can do that from the settings menu of the device um, or you can use the red button if uh, the green button didn't, didn't go there and then uh, press x for the, the the yellow for the x and then for the blue is the yellow and then we don't have a left and right so i'm going to skip those two pressing user buttons and then select start then we don't have any mouses connected so i'm going to go ahead and press the user button to skip all the mouse settings then finally when i get to the menu i'm going to do a black and um, uh, white at the same time as a combo key and then for the ok button i'm going to go ahead and press the joystick button. and for the back I said for me it's the green for you for some of you might be red I'm gonna push the green and um, I don't have a tilt so we're gonna skip the rest of them and um, for now the uh, the joystick is connect is, is is configured correctly with the device um, with the Meister the next thing you want to do is make sure the unit is in Meister mode um, with version 8.5 and above, the way you go to Meister mode, you um, go to the menu by pushing the green and the red together, and then press the blue to go to settings. And then um, this is Meister mode is an experimental feature, so it's not in the menu. But if you push the white button in this screen mode, you'll see that it'll say Meister, and then if it's on or off, and that toggles it. So press it um, 
until it says Maestro on. And that brings the Maestro mode is correct. And press the yellow button twice to exit and get back. Okay, so let's try a quick joystick game and then we will try the paddles um, as that should work as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and pick up my joystick here. I'm gonna go under um oops. Um back. Okay. Under console. I have um Atari 2600, but it'll work with either one. Let's do 7800, but we'll load a 2600 um, game. Push F12, which is my on screen display button. And then I'm going to load. And I have my games in the 2600 folder. I'm going to go here. Maybe I'll find Carnival that uses joystick and a button. And I'm going to go ahead and press start. Okay. Left and right is working. Fine. Okay, so I'm going to push menu again, get the menu, and this time around, um, we're going to go ahead and load um, breakout from the 2600 folder. Okay, when you first come in here, um, I've got my joystick connected, so it's not going to uh, work, and we need the paddles connected, and the system is set to auto detect the paddles. So let me show you quickly um, what you need to do. So first, uh, I'm gonna disconnect the joystick and I'm going to connect my paddles here. All right, make sure you use uh, port one because that's the only port that is going to work for the paddles and then um, you know, as you move left and right, if you're in uh, Meister mode, notice that uh, you've got the two dials here, and um, two dials uh, represent a joystick zero and joystick one uh, for these two ports. And if it's in Meister mode, this which it, this is, it's projecting uh, the second joystick to the second port. If for some reason you see these up and down from top on top of each other, that means they're both on uh, joystick port one and the Meister will not see the second paddle. So this is the correct way. Okay, so now that that is set, let's go ahead and uh, um, make the, to, the system needs to auto detect the paddles. And uh, the best way I found is if you push the yellow button, it'll uh, quickly uh, detect the paddles and if you move this to the left and right it'll go ahead and um, now you can see my paddles are working my pair uh, zero and then i'm going to go ahead and play a two-player game so i'm going to go to game two i'm going to push start okay so this is my player one joystick press the button and it does work now it's gone to player two um and then that's working as well and you can see that it's quite well. So um, that's really all there is to it. And if you don't have the latest firmware, again, go down to www.icode.com slash downloads and download the correct firmware 8.5 and above and uh, follow the instructions and you should be good to go. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. If you uh, enjoyed this, please press thumbs up and subscribe. Take care. Have a good day.